So let's learn how to turn a breakpoint into a conditional breakpoint. Now I have this test. And it's a good test, but it fails. Something has an index out of bounds exception for 16. And it's something on this line. So I'm going to breakpoint that line. Now if I debug the test now, when I run the test, it will stop on the breakpoint. I can see the variables and I can start stepping over this. Blah -de -blah -de -blah -de -blah -de -blah -de blah 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 until we get to the point where it throws the error. Now wouldn't it be nice if instead of having to do all that stepping through, I could just make this breakpoint stop at the point where I want it to? Well I can. What I do is I right click on the breakpoint and then I can put in a condition. So any Java code that will evaluate in the context where the breakpoint is running that will return a boolean. So in this case I'm going to say i equals 15. And then hopefully when I run this in debug mode, the breakpoint will only click in when i is 15. So I've put it at the point where the error should be more likely ready to occur so I can step through and pay more attention. So i is currently 15. And there we go, there's the exception ready to get thrown as soon as we try and access this. So if I step over this now, so the problem is i is going up to 16. That's all I was going to show you in this video, how to convert this breakpoint into a conditional breakpoint so that we can zoom in on the breakpoint moments that we really, really care about. So try it out. Hope that's useful.